Well, I think we have the, the Pikes Peak Highway as an enterprise of the city. Yeah. Uh, it's independently financed. And people that do come here, it's America's Mountain. Um, I think it could be part of a marketing plan that we have for our city yeah. uh, to, to bring people in, but I don't think it's something that we need to spend an extraordinary number of dollars on. Uh, I proposed to my wife on the top of Pikes Peak. It's a great asset. I love Pikes Peak, um, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a really one of the things that gives us the personality that we have. Uh, but in terms of commercial and taxpayer investment on how we can... I don't believe that the government should be doing uh, uh, venture capital investment. Uh -huh. Because we keep hearing that, well, if we spend this, we yeah. might get this return. And if you look at the his history of these taxpayer-funded venture yeah. capital investments, they don't pan out very well for the taxpayer. Because what usually happens... And, you know, there's different ways to finance it, but one way or another, it's money that would have otherwise gone into the general fund paying for the things that we need. And then when we come to a downturn, we, we can't pay for the things that we need. And now we have to either ask for another tax or cut the services that we've been providing that are in the role of government. I believe in advocacy for the city on the National Conference of Mayors. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not happening right now. Uh, that's part of, part of why I'm running, because I think that we need to be an advocate for ourselves. Pikes Peak is just sitting right here in front of us as this massive asset, <laughs> literally and figuratively, that, we, that sells itself. But how are we telling the story? Nobody's asked me this question before, so I'm kind of thinking off the fly, but I'll tell you, how about a mayor's Pikes Peak ascent? Um, are you going to run up the mountain? Well, I won't run. But I've done it before, many times, and I'll go up um, yeah. and uh, make, a, make a very special, very exciting, fun event with the community okay. for the Mayor's Pikes Peak Ascent. Right. I'll be there every single year. Good. But to be clear, you're not talking about uh, having other mayors come from other cities and ascend it. As yeah, why not? Group? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Let's have them race. That's, let's do that. Let's have all mayors. Let's do that. I'm there. I'm there. I'll tell you what, this campaign is not keeping me in very good shape, but I'll get back in shape and we'll do it. Pikes Peak itself, I think there's a certain number of people who have a, a pretty mountain's a pretty mountain mentality. What's remarkable about Pikes Peak is its proximity to an urban uh, city. I mean, if you we're the 41st largest city in America. You cannot go through the other, 50, uh, other 49 and come up with a city that's got the proximity to a large mountain that we do in the United States, mm -hmm. with the possible exception of, of uh, Salt Lake City. And I'm not sure where they... Uh, they fall. Uh, in Denver, you got to get your binoculars out to, to see the mountains. So Pikes Peak really is a big, I do think it's a big selling point. I think, uh, frankly, the last couple times I've been up there, I've observed that the summit was a little bit embarrassing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we're doing exactly the right thing, and at that point in time, maybe we can do a better job of promoting it. Uh, for somebody from the flatlands, riding that train up Pikes Peak is a kick. Mm -hmm. It really is. So I, I think there's some things we can do, but I, I think you have to look at it as kind of a big picture item, and I think that goes back to the LART. I think we have this wonderful asset, Pikes Peak, America's Mountains, America's Mountain, and we don't market it at all. I mean, people may know it's here, but uh, anybody I've ever taken to the top of Pikes Peak is in awe. Mm -hmm. um, I think there should be... Uh, we should have more recreation. I think we should promote the fishing that's available. I, I know that the utilities doesn't want any motorized boats in the water, but uh, maybe there's uh, some other kind of recreation that can take place on the mountain. Maybe we can partner with the university and their geology department to do some research. Um, it's an invaluable resource. We need to finish that uh, ring around the peak for the bike trail, and I think we could have people from all over the country coming here for that, but I also know that all the bike enthusiasts, enthusiasts in Colorado Springs think that's a terrific idea too. I think there could be, uh, you know, there are two ways to get up there now. I guess there are three ways. You can walk up or run up. Uh, you could drive up in your own private car or you could take the train. Well, why don't we get some of those open air buses and somebody else would drive and uh, windows are gone. Wouldn't that be a lovely thing? You could sit back and relax and uh, but we haven't <laughs> we haven't even thought about it in those terms. It's a great asset, and we could maximize that. Uh, I don't think uh, would be that difficult. 
And when the, the summit house is built, it will have interpretive um, areas and much better, you know, view kind of view opportunities. Uh, you'll be able to do more than go to the bathroom and eat a donut. <laughs>